Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, today we'll be giving you guys a bunch of tips on how to improve at making texture packs in Minecraft. If you guys find this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so we're going to start off with the basics, kind of. Uh, I use Paint on that, some people use uh, Photoshop, but I, I prefer Paint on that over Photoshop as it's very easy to use and it does the job. So what you want to do is you want to have the right settings. If you don't have the right settings, you're most likely going to screw up and making texture packs. So what you want to do is select the line tool, so you get this tool uh, bar up here. Select this one and disable it. Normally it will be on this. Select it on this. If I were to put it on this, you would get like transform pixels as you can see here. If I will put it on the other one, you see it's a straight line. It's very important. The reason is you don't want transform pixels on your texture. It will screw up in game. All right, so now for the plugins, I use Bold Bay plugins. Uh, there, it's a very basic plugin pack, I guess you could say, uh, but it does a job. You have tools like transparency. It's pretty important to have transparency as you can remove all the transparent pixels be um, in your texture, which is very important. If you don't remove transparent pixels in your texture or around the texture that you just created, it will uh, screw up in game and it won't look 3D, it will look 2D. All right, so now for the next step, we're gonna need to learn the shortcuts of paint on that. Learning the shortcuts of paint on that makes it very efficient for you to make a pack. And it, you, that also means that you will learn uh, to make a pack faster and more efficient. Um, I use Control A to select everything obviously I use Ctrl Z like I just did I selected everything I hit Ctrl Z and I deselected everything I hit shift to draw a straight line if I if I let loose of shift right now it's gonna you know go like this but if I hit shift it's gonna go like this it's gonna always go in a straight line now for the saturation I have Ctrl Shift U then for the brightness and contrast, which I use quite a bunch, I hit Ctrl Shift T. Now, if I have, for example, like five different layers with textures on it, uh, on one texture, in like one file, I guess you could say, I hit Ctrl Shift F to go, uh, to um, to crop all the layers into each other, if, if that's the right word. And if I, for example, want to have layer four and layer three, I hit Ctrl M. And this will make it so only one layer goes into the other layer. So now we're going to start off with some tips for the armor. My tip is always use a template. For example, we have a 128x by 64 uh, armor. This is 128, but yeah, you mainly want to use a template because no one really makes an armor fully from scratch. Like no one uh, actually draws out all the lines in the perfect spot for it to like actually work. 99 and half percent of the people use a template. So what I do most of the times is I get a, a really standard template and a resolution I like, which is 128x in this situation. And I start editing the outline. So for example, I, I make this tray like I, I don't make it like that. I, like some very very small changes like for example making this curved kind of um and you can do that with everything like you can for example do this these are their leggings and for example you can make them like spiky i guess you could say you can also do that for the for the arms so now some more tips if you make this uh, make it like this you also should do it for this you should you should just copy paste it to the other ones so it all has the same outline i guess you could say so now what i see a lot of people do is they make the outline of the armor uh, lighter than the inside so i'm gonna make a quick example for you guys as you can see right now the outline is darker than the inside you, you that's good you, you want to have that so what a lot of people do is they do it like this like that does not make any sense. Uh, don't do that. And this is a really bad example, but this won't look really good in game and it will kind of look kind of weird. What some people do as well is they blur the inside, uh, which is really weird in this situation because you will see it looks like really weird. This also creates transform pixels, which you don't want to have. This is an example of how armor should look. Um, very clean, I guess you could say. Um, with darker outline than the inside and good, well shaded, I guess. My overall tip is with armor, just keep it clean. People like that the most. Alright, 
right, so now we're gonna start off with the sword tips. So my first tip is proportions. It's very, very important to make a sword well sized, I guess you could say. This is the file. So this is where you can put all the pixels, right? You wanna have a sword that's at least this big. At least otherwise in game it's gonna look like you're holding like a knife or something it's it's gonna look very small it is very important that the sword fits for example you want to have a blade that fits the handle in terms of uh, aspect ratio so proportions and everything is very very important probably the most important thing when making a pack or in this situation making a sword texture right there i have some examples of swords that i created which is have like this is like an older sword i guess this is a i don't know this i never really released this this is also kind of old these are from the madara and this is like an edit of it i actually did revamp a sword for a friend of mine as you can see it's a very big difference in terms of sizing uh this is like the thing that's bad this is the thing that's good because this will look like a knife in game and this will look well sized and good in game you also want to make sure that if your handle is for example this thick that your blade should fit onto it like it shouldn't be very thick or very thin um, for example this should also be well sized like it's very hard to explain but proportions is very important and I give you guys one tip is scroll out and see like okay it's this big it should be like almost up here and up here or down here i mean and it should be about that big it's very hard to explain as i just said but i hope that sums it up a bit all right so now for the next tip i see some people make the handle or the blade very very dark to the point where you can't even see the texturing barely at least for example on the handle they make a black handle which is so so dark that they can barely even see the texturing on it for example this white line and the church you can barely see it on it don't do that like it, it's like it almost looks like it's a fully black handle at that point like for example it will look almost like this in game and you clearly don't want to have that especially if you took all the time to texture it also don't use weird colors together so for example if you make a red blade don't make this like freaking green or something or like i don't know just keep one color scheme don't do weird type of stuff it, this will if you just have it like this it will look way cleaner and better you can So now I'm gonna give you guys some texturing tips. So what I do with most of my packs is I use a color scheme, color panel type of thing. It's very handy, uh, especially if it takes you multiple days to make one pack. For example, I made a 32 blue revamp, which will be released this Friday as you're watching this. I use this color scheme for it. So this color and this color, oh, this color. So what, what this does, it, it helps you texture. It makes the colors in your texture pack very consistent and that makes the quality of your packs way better. And it's also easy. Like you don't have to get the color again, etc., etc etc et i definitely suggest making a folder and just putting all the color schemes in there for the pack all right so moving on we have the armor over here my tip is keep the armor very clean and simple as you can see this is gradient with a white layer on top of it and a dark layer on top of it what i did is i got white pretty much like this oh and then i made it less transparent and i overlaid it over the armor same with the black so when making a sword you should definitely use selections it's very easy to make a sword and uh, outline and stuff like just select uh, stuff i guess you could say you can hit shift and then you know drag it around if you don't hit shift it's gonna go like differently I, so like this it goes in degrees i guess it's a very handy tool that you can just you know do this ctrl x go on a new layer and right now if i hit ctrl a then alt f uh, I mean not F, but I just select, then I select the whole layer, as you can see right here, I have the only the blade selected. So yeah, these are just some simple things that are uh, pretty easy to do and will help you a lot when making texture packs. I really do suggest working in layers, it makes it very easy to, for example, if you want to have the, this this part of the, the thing, what is it called, the, um, the handle, if you just hit Ctrl X, go on a new layer, you have the handle over here. The blade in this layer and then the rest on this layer it's very easy to like select things uh, boom you have the blade boom you have the the this is called the handle so and if you want to have all the layers into each other like i just said in this tutorial hit ctrl shift f 
So that was about it for this tutorial, I guess. Uh, if you guys want to see more tutorials, please make sure to leave a like. Only leave a like, you can comment it down below as well. But if the likes are really high, I will, you know, make more of these. Uh, I could do like shading, tutorials, and etc. Alright, so that was about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, peace out.